President Trump said earlier this afternoon in an announcement saying homemade masks can be made use for your own personal use with fabric that you may already have at home. Fox 13's Aaron Cox shows us some of the ways you can make your own mask. Yourself videos online that teach you how to make your own face masks at home. But the question is, do the homemade face masks protect you as much as the surgical masks could? You are going to want to go ahead and add an extra quarter of an inch. This video created by Joann's has a downloadable pattern to go with it. Supplies include at least 12 by 9, 100% cotton fabric, a quarter inch of elastic, or four fabric strips, hand sew or sewing machine, and a filter. Lots of people may have uh, bandanas or even a cloth napkin at home. Other videos show people using hair bands for elastic bands and different materials for the filters if you want one. Is it perfect? Does it block even the smallest particles? No. But I think in such a serious epidemic, thinking about using things that may not be imperfect but have something to offer is probably a very reasonable idea. A research study conducted at Cambridge took 21 volunteers between the age of 20 and 44 years old. Volunteers made their own homemade face masks using 100% cotton t-shirt fabric and then were provided a surgical face mask. The volunteers were sampled wearing their homemade mask, then their surgical mask, and then no mask. They were tested coughing to see what made it through the masks. They also had aerosol droplets sprayed to see how large or small of a particle could get through the masks. The results showed both the homemade mask and surgical mask prevented droplets and particles getting out while coughing. But for particles coming in, surgical masks were at least 50% better than the homemade masks. So I don't think one should stop observing a safe distance of six feet. And I don't think one should stop observing the caution to remain away from others unless absolutely necessary. So far, surgical masks are prioritized for healthcare workers, but should your family feel the need to have one, you can make them here at home or you can use something to cover your mouth. In Salt Lake County, Aaron Cox, Fox 13 News, Utah.